Fellow Cardboarders, welcome back. Most of the EDH players are of the opinion that Land Destruction is a no-go in their format. So cards like Ruination would probably make their faces look like this kitty here. But what if I told you there was a card from Homelands you haven't heard of that punishes having a lot of non-basic lands without destroying them? It's time for another installment of... Think outside the deck box. So the expansion Homelands has always been kind of frowned upon, the whole block actually. Cards from Alliances have received more and more love these days, Fallen Empires. Still kind of sad, but this card from Homelands here is called Primal Order and is an enchantment for two mana and two green. And at the beginning of each upkeep of every player, that player is dealt that much damage equal to the amount of non-basic lands they control. So yes, this card does punish you, but what if we only play like one or two colors? We are not forced to play a whole bunch of non-basic lands, but we're used to it, and the abundance of non-basic lands obviously kind of makes us want to use all of them, but how about trying one deck that has no non-basic lands in it? I did this actually with a four-color deck, which is my recent Atraxa Blink deck with a secret commander. Do check it out after this one. But you don't have to do this with a four color deck, but you could try it with a one or two color deck. And since we are playing green, we are able to ramp and then get ourselves a couple more basic lands while punishing people who play non-basic lands. We don't have to put in Ruination, obviously, but there are a couple of cards that synergize very nicely with Primal Order. Some commanders that might want to put in this card are Clothis, which I actually have a deck of and I actually play both of these cards. I play her as a Gruul Control kind of deck with stacks and land destruction. It's a whole bunch of fun. Do let me know in the comments if you want me to show this deck off on the channel. Another commander that likes to punish your opponents having unused mana is Yorlock, and why not put in Primal Order as well for punishing your opponent for using non-basic lands as well. Another salty option would be Vorinclex, the OG one, forcing your opponent to deal with your enchantment and your commander at the same time. But also the new Calyx is a very interesting commander in my eyes with this enchantment, being able to copy it multiple times over the following turns that you have this one out and dealing more and more damage for each non-basic land your opponent controls. The old Theros gods always need devotion, so besides Clothis, also, for example, Cruthix would appreciate some extra devotion, and this one gives devotion 2 for green. And we had the idea on the channel, which we voted on, and it almost won, which is Go Shintai of Life's Origin, but without shrines, but focusing on reanimating enchantments and Reanimating this enchantment over and over again should be a ton of fun. If you are playing Blood Moon, obviously you want to include this if you're playing green as well. Just punishing your opponents for their non-basic lands. If you're playing Price of Progress, also great inclusion for Primal Order as well. And cards that double or triple the damage like Furnace of Wrath or Fiery Emancipation. God, this card got expensive. Are a great inclusion in decks like these that deal damage over time, turn after turn. But now I do want to hear from you guys. Have you ever heard of Primal Order? Have you tried it out yet? Or is this the first time you've heard of this card from Homelands? I do, by the way, enjoy the artwork which just shows our actual globe, I think. So that's kind of funny and a kind of cute addition to the otherwise kind of mean card. And if you've stuck along till the end, maybe you want to push this button and check this video out next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.